Greetings. This is Ish. How are you? Hi, Ish. How are you? What's new? I am very well, thank you very much. How may I help you today? Um, I guess an update on the crisis would be good. On the crisis? Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same it is, as it has been, actually. There's really nothing new to report except that it might have been pushed out a little later than I originally thought. So it might be coming a little later than what was originally predicted. What kind of later? I don't remember any dates. No, there was no dates given because no dates can be given. It is against the rules. However, it's going to be probably a month or two later than it originally was planned for or that it was thought to be. The reason for this is because there are many in the cabal that are keeping the uh, things uh, strong enough to last a little longer. And there was some improvements in the Chinese market. Um, are you talking about months, years, or tens of years? Months. Really? But Originally, it was only a very short while, but now it may be pushed out to almost a year. Wonderful. We shall see. Depends on how things go. Wonderful. Thank you. The Chinese you. market is strengthened, though, so it pushed it out at least a month or two more. Wonderful. Yeah, we are, we are not ready. We need time to, to leave, right? Yes. It will not destroy you. Do not worry about that. You will not be destroyed. But all civilizations go through these sorts of things at one time or another. So no, do not fret. It is just another growing pain. It's just like going through puberty. You have to have a, a little bit of pain, a little growth, changes here and there, and, and then you become a more solid and mature individual if you are stable that is but if it is not going to come out stable then you may have problems but I have a feeling things will work out how bad it could be uh, in terms of like will we still have electricity internet telephone and water or is it well, yes eventually it will come back on very quickly it, it will be out for a short while in some places, not in all places, but there will be places where they will lose a lot of electricity and energy and things of that nature. But it will come back on rather quickly. The thing is about this is that they have been working diligently to make the res make the um, it's like Y2K. They worked it out so that it did not happen the way that they predicted. So therefore, this is what's happening also. Is they're, they're working it out so it's not going to be such a shock and maybe less and less of a, a, um, a, a problem than you once thought. But at the beginning, it, was, it looked like it was going to be very devastating. At this point, it looks like a a couple to three weeks of problems, but that is not that bad, and the problems will not be as as uh, terrible as they once were predicted, because there won't be as much, the, the, not all cities will lose electricity and things of that nature, so looting will only be in some areas, and wow. not, not everywhere. Sounds wonderful. Sounds wonderful. Uh, it's how getting better. It's getting better. There's things that can make it worse, of course, but right now it looks like it's getting better by the day. Wonderful. How about the um, um, propaganda? Would it be still uh, televised and people will be brainwashed? Oh, all the time. Uh huh. And There's nothing to do to stop that. There's always something out there that they twist, they make a turn, they heard it wrong, or they hear it wrong intentionally because they're looking to make someone look bad, making looking make some situation look bad because their lives are miserable. They want everyone else to be miserable as well. So those people should be fired and, and, sh and shunned. But 
you know what? They're they're encouraged to be mean and uh, dishonest. Oh, so, but, uh... so it is not a not something that will cause them to lose their jobs. So what's the agenda? What's the purpose of the crisis? For a change. You need a change on your you need, like I said, going through adolescence. Much change is needed for you to become a man. You are a child and then you become a man. There's a big change in the middle there. And this is the kind of change you need for your population to mature, for your population to become aware of actually what kind of destination your planet is headed. So if you do not realize that uh, you must go through this in order to succeed in your, the bigger picture, then it will be a very sad thing. Many people will not see the big picture, but many will. So is it mostly psychological, just to wake up people? people that's all? Sometimes physicality, emotions, and all these things are helpful in waking up the spiritual. So we're not talking about global economic collapse. Well, that's part of it, but you see, that's, that's part of it, but there's other things happening as well, so I can't just say that's the only thing that's happening, but that is one of the things that is happening, but for it to collapse all at one time may not happen. Right, right, so some countries just will close the borders and survive, right? Correct. Like Japan, they, they're very good in closing the borders and... Ignoring. Yes, they don't, they're self-sufficient in, in about 90% of things. Yes. There are certain things they can't, they cannot do, of course, but um, agriculturally they're, they're a little behind, but because they've taken up so much of the agricultural area with uh, buildings and parking lots and uh, engineering right. and things of this nature, however, they still have enough to feed about uh, at least 25 to 30 percent of the people and that is good enough for a while right so how much casualties do you expect how much what casualties there will be some many will take their own lives right but are we talking about few percent or more well, at this point, you'd have to go between this number and that number. And I would say between 8 and 12% of casualties, not, not losing of life, but just as far as life and injury. Right. Um, so, as far as losing life by itself, maybe only about 4%, but that's still a huge number. Of course. Uh, would it be across which period of time? Right away or like years? It would be right away, probably. Within the first uh, month or two of the, of the crisis. Right. So is, that what, uh, is the financial reform planned with the crisis or is it like coming later? It's later. So we'll still have the nonsense with the money continuing. Yes, because there will be fights on how to re redo everything and, and how it should be redone and why it should be done in certain ways. And some people, some countries will feel slighted and feel that other larger company uh, countries are taking control and they're getting the not a good bargain out of it. And so there will be fighting and dis dispersion among the peoples be, until they realize that they are it's coming up more fair I see um, usually in the past such crisis what did you say fairness is a big thing with your planet and unfairness more like unfairness <laughs> is a <Yeah>. big thing <laughs> all right um, so uh, in the past such a crisis would always cause tons of war. What is happening with the war in this crisis? What's the prediction? The prediction for what? For the wars. The worst? Wars. W-A-R-C. Oh, 
Oh, wars. Yes, there will be more wars. Your people just, especially the Middle Eastern area. So are the governments being advised by the aliens? They are not being advised by the aliens in this area because they are not permitted. Um, yeah, it sounds very sad. It is. It has to get worse before it gets better because there are so many people on your planet that are still living in very confused thought processes. I see that more and more now. With this new election, it's coming to light to me that your people are misguided. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> you believe that? Uh, yeah, deception and self-delusion, yes. And they are following people that they should scorn, actually. All right. They're both, they're neither one of them on the up and up completely. And one is very unbalanced. And I, I pray that, that he finds some kind of diplomacy at some point. If he is going to be president, he needs to find some balance because he has none. I see. I see. And I see that things are turning in his direction and it's sort of frightening. I see. So my um, impression was that the governments are prevented from starting the world war. The main powers are advised that they will not be allowed to, to do the world war uh, by, by the aliens. And what you said, it's not the fact, right? So humans well, are... They're allowed to say that world war would be uh, against everything that you, humanity is working towards. But they are not allowed to say, don't cause one. They can advise that war is not the answer. And your governments already know that. The only reason why they have wars is for financial reasons or for religious reasons. Those are the two things that they, would, they have war for. Financial, also for gaining of land and conquest. But that is sort of an old-fashioned notion, which is only still alive in the Middle East. Now, world, world domination, there are a few on the planet, like your North Korean president, that would love to have world domination and has uh, visions of grandeur, but he is not in his right mind. So he is, he is delusional. So uh, he could never, ever, ever do it, and he doesn't have the the right stuff to to rule the world in a good way anyway if you look at their country it is a mess um and people are not allowed to do anything there's they have a, a rule for everything even certain haircuts must be given only these many haircuts are allowed in the population is that not ridiculous you cannot be yourself there let's uh come back to the question so uh the i was under the impression that the aliens would intervene in the case of of global self-destruction yeah. no you cannot aliens cannot intervene and the reason is if your planet is to destroy itself then that is what is to be there is no one can help you you must make it through on your own or else you do not survive that is the one rule that must stand because you must make it through and find a way to survive. If you as a species cannot find a way to survive, then you must die. No one can help you survive. That is an, a rule. You cannot help another species to survive if they are not meant to survive. But your species will survive, but not with alien intervention. Okay. How about angelic intervention? Yes. You may call on the angels if you wish. They can only do so much because only so many are praying. Not everyone on your planet will pray in earnest. Of course, when these 
times of difficulty comes, more people pray because they are frightened than because they believe. They want to believe, but they pray because they're frightened and they don't want to die, and so they will pray. However, those kinds of prayers are not as effectual as the fervent believers' prayers, because there's much more energy there, rather than just save my ass, so to speak. Right. Um, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, we are good learners. We are good learners. We are doing what we were taught. Yes. And now we have been taught higher things, but the old programs, the old teachings are still very powerful. So it's more like yes. the ideas. And society teaches as well. Right. As one moves out into the workplace, the society teaches you how to act in society to be accepted. You cannot act differently than society and be accepted unless you're doing something that brings society up in the sense that everyone is appreciative. All right. So I'm trying to imagine what's um, what what would be the teaching which I can pass to light workers. What would be your advice for the light workers for the times of the crisis? Well, for now, you see that the light workers have already perceived that there's spirit, and spirit is very helpful and protective. So hold on to their spirit, but yet hold on to the, those around them that they deem to be wonderful and friendly and kind and good and fellow light workers because there are strength, there is strength in bringing light workers together. And so as a communion or as a community, they are much stronger. So therefore bring their families and friends that are also light workers together during this time and things can be done much more quickly. Hope can be spread much more quickly and those that are doubters within the group can be pacified much more quickly and shown that there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, thank you. I guess that, that's all for, for today. Um, I would invite some angelics or some higher ascended masters to speak. Uh, thank you very much. You're really helpful. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too.